when I have more time and a different audience, uh, a non-vegan audience, if you like, I would give out pencil and paper, and I would just ask people, without any more cues or clues, will you please draw me a farm? And generally speaking, this is what I get back. It's not as good as this. Uh, usually a line drawing of this kind of thing. The only people who don't draw this are animal advocates. I did a, a talk at my university in North Wales a few years ago, and there was two animal advocates in the, in the audience, and they drew battery cages and sow stalls and, and slaughter lines. Everyone else drew this. And so there's some kind of common themes that we get. And, of course, what people are doing is they're drawing on those early learning books that they experience as kids. So the, the themes, and this is the main one, is this is a pretty happy place. And so this is the kind of mind's eye farm for a lot of people in two ways. This is either the farm that they know about or the farm that they want to know about, even if they know other things as well. So if you're an animal advocate on the street and you talk about the use of other animals in farming, the chances are people are going to think about this. This is their cultural resource to answer you. This is what they think of in terms of animal farming. So it's a happy place. All free-range beings there. There's no cages. The uh, other animals are said to have homes. They have adventures out in the field, and then they come home, and uh, they are there with their family units. That's another main theme. You've got family units, family groups. In fact, it's usually a bit more elaborate than this. Here we've got ducks and ducklings, but normally we've got chickens and, uh, and chicks and uh, horses and, and foals, etc., cows and calves, all smiling, all going back to their home after a day of adventures with their family, and everything is kind of hunky-dory. From an animal rights point of view, you don't have this. In either the pictures that people produce or the books from which they are using as a resource, there is no suggestion of slaughterhouse trucks. They're not going to arrive. So this is a, a concept that we'll come back to a little later on, the issue of kind of end use. There's no suggestion of end use here. You know, it's just the fact that here you have a farm full of other animals. They all have a great time, and that's the end of the story.